All right, what is going on, everybody? So today, we are on the last primary day of the block. Um, we actually have a lot to talk about, unfortunately. I'll talk about it in a sec, but it is the last day of the block. Sorry, it's not the last day of the block. It's the last primary day of the block. Um, so I have primary deadlifts today and a three-count bench. Um... So we can talk about that. Well, I'll talk about everything like at the same time, but most importantly is that this is the last week of the block. And some big changes will be coming for next block for reasons I'll talk about in a sec. Um, so yeah, so let's just talk about that real quick. So, um, so the main, main change is uh, me and my coach, unfortunately, have split. Um, and I have a new coach. Um, I'm not going to talk about why, but me and my old coach are not together anymore. So right now I'm finishing his old block because I only have one week left and then I'm, uh, moving on to my next coach. Um, so everything's going to change block wise anyway, aside from me being closer to the meet, like having a new coach is obviously going to change a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's a really big change for me, obviously. Um, for you guys, it won't change that much because the program's going to change, but, like, you know, not like crazy. Uh, for me, that's obviously a, a massive change. So I'm going to have to get used to that. Um, so we can talk about actual lift today. Well, let's talk about yesterday, um, first off. So yesterday was my last squat primary and bench primary day. Um, my squat was supposed to move at 7. My bench is supposed to move at five. I believe I hit one. I don't remember what squat I hit. Oh, that's really annoying. I think I ended up hitting um, one one thirty five maybe kilos. That's like it's like I think it was like. Hold on, let me. I can't even look. Um, I don't know. The point is, it moves really, really, really well. It's supposed to move out of seven. It moved at like a five max, which just proves that my undershooting was right. Um, so that's good. And my bench, I had RP5, so that obviously moved the way it's supposed to. Um, today, my top range for deads is supposed to be uh, 137 and a half kilos. Um, I doubled 165 at the end of my last block. So I asked my new coach, I was like, are you okay with me trying to hit like 150 today? It's supposed to be at seven. So I don't want to push it. Like I still would rather undershoot than overshoot for sure. But I also don't want to undershoot by, you know, 30 kilos. So uh, I'm going to try to do 150 today as long as everything's moving well. It's a single at seven. We're going to do 150 kilos. Uh, the bench, I have no clue. There are going to be some chains for bench we'll talk about, but I don't know what weight I'm going to go for yet. Um, just because last time I did my three count bench, I believe I ma I matched my old comp PR being 226. Um, and then my actual bench day, I hit more, but it didn't really count because it was on pounds for one. Two, my ass came up. Three, it stalled and stopped moving. Um, so like that lift obviously wouldn't count. And I was not, at, I was not at my actual gym. I was at my home gym, which is not a powerlifting gym. So... I don't count that as my PR, even though it really, it technically is. But today, I, I might match that weight in kilos. It's supposed to be RP9. So it's supposed to be really close to failure, to be honest. So um, we'll see how that goes. But the other changes for bench are my new coach wants me to raise the rack height by one because he thinks that there's too much range of motion. Sorry, not there's too much motion from when I unrack to when I press, which I actually agree with because... Every time somebody gives me a lift off, they say that it's like I'm lifting off by myself because it's so far behind me that to get it, like, it's not like a little bit of elbow movement. It's like my whole arm has to move. I have to do a whole lap pull over. So that hopefully will help a little bit. And also he's letting me uh, change my grip to back to pointer finger um, on the knurling, which I think is going to help me a lot. We'll see today. Obviously the adjustment period might be a little weird too. So like my weight not be made may not be that crazy today because of adjustments that we're making, but they should help in the long run. Um, this event should be really fun today, honestly, because 
I haven't benched with my pointer finger in forever. It's been ring finger for me for the longest time now. So I still think I'm going to be stronger with pointer finger um, and my range of motion will be less. So hopefully I can actually have a good bench session today. I'll be really happy with that if I can have a good bench session and my deadlift moves. I mean, my deadlift should move pretty well, but as long as everything moves well, we're good. I will be using a TSS bar, so this will be by far the heaviest weight I've had in TSS bar. This is also going to be the heaviest weight I've touched in around five weeks uh, on on dead. So that's a little scary. I was talking to him, uh, like, in general, and my squat yesterday was the heaviest squat I've had in five weeks as well. And it felt super heavy on my back, but it still moved at a five. Just because I haven't had that much weight on my back in a long time. So a few things will change in the next block. Um, and I'll be home for the whole next block. So pretty much the whole next block which will be interesting. Actually, no, I'll be home for the whole entire next block because I have a three-week block and then a three-week block and then taper. Or a three-week block, three-week block, and then a, a meet. So um, I will be home for my whole entire next block. So I'm going to go to a different gym than I've been going to. I'm going to go to a powerlifting gym when I go home. Uh, it's pretty far away, and I've never been there. So hopefully everything is good, but from pictures and videos and friends that have been there, um, it seems like it's a really good gym. So I have a few options, to be honest, like a few of my friends that actually go to this gym uh, live by me when I go home and they're going to another gym that's pretty close to me as well. So I have to pick in between uh, the gym I'm going to go to and that gym. We'll see. Uh, it depends on if I like either, you know, but we will we'll see how that goes. That should be interesting and, and fun, hopefully, because, you know, it's a different gym. So we get to meet new people, new powerlifters, and it's a new rack, new bench, all that stuff. So. We'll see. Um, I do want to kind of hit my taper while I'm here because it's like my comp benches here and my comp bar is what I'll be using in comp. So obviously practicing on the actual competition stuff is way more helpful than like a general, you know, a general bar and stuff, even though they're comp racks, but this is like my competition rack. So it's a little different. So that can be interesting. There's also a new meet that they just announced uh, for, I believe, May 5th at my gym as well, and it's a prize meet. So you, it is a $10,000 prize pool, I believe. Um, and I might compete in that too. We'll see. That would be about three months away from when I do my meet, which is a little close. So I have to talk to my coach about that. But we'll see. I might want to do that one too because that one's three months away and it's in my gym. And there's a prize pool. Now, I don't think I'd win any prizes anyway, to be honest. But you never know. And it could just be fun. That's like a bigger meet. So that's like an actual really competitive meet. Which could be cool. Because this meet that I'm going to go to is like... It's not a small meet, but it's like, you know, it's a local. It's not a state or anything. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm excited. Finally have some type of heavy deadlift today. Hopefully my bench looks good and moves good, to be honest. I just... That's all I care for right now is that it moves good and feels good. Um, we'll see. But I think the extra rack height could help low-key. Because I was thinking about raising my rack height anyway for bench. Even though it's so high already, like, everybody flames me. But I just have long-ass arms, unfortunately. So, not unfortunately, but, like, for bench is unfortunate. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know. Weight is pretty steady. I've been the same weight for the last two days. I think I'm 176.4. It's in the title, but kind of haven't broke that 178 again since that that like one time I did which is interesting to me because I'm eating a lot right like a lot like I added 700 calories I don't even know if I've, I've filmed since then no I definitely have I've added 700 calories since Sunday because I wasn't getting weight and my app had me at 100 calories per day which is a lot so um extra 700 calories a week I'm struggling to hit it now so I might have to start eating more calorie-dense foods, but I finally had time to meal prep and all that, so it's a little easier to hit my uh, cows. I'm in an 800-calorie meal prep for one of them, which is making it uh, a lot easier. So I will take that, but it's been good. And uh, we'll hopefully have a good session. Drink the pre, and I'll see you guys in the gym.
that. Go down, do half straight up. Go down. That bar. Pay attention. Alright, so Dad moved uh, really well. Um, I was 17 and a half kilos above my top range, and I still moved it at better than a 7, so that's really good. Backdowns are good. My boy was trying to show me how to wedge that last set, so uh, that last set probably looked better than all the rest. Um, now we got bench. Like I said, I'm going wider and I'm losing the rack height, so see how it goes. It's actually RP8, not 9, so I might just match last week, but we'll see how it feels. All right, this is the last warm up. Feels a little weird just because it's like higher and my grip's wider. So like, obviously it feels weird, but like, feels good. This feels weird. So as long as this moves the way it's supposed to, I'm gonna probably retake what I did last week because I was also at an eight. Um, if it moves really well, I'll get a 105. If it doesn't move well, I'll get a 100. It depends on how this moves. It's a three count pause. This. Get it. Three, two, one. That's a lot better. You can do better though. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Don't take your chest off though. Have you seen it? All right, so I was working on some bench tech there. My bench kind of moved shit because my, uh, my ass came off the bench. But I think you saw that little clip um, of me doing like 70 for three. Se sorry, 70, 70 kilos for three reps. Um, and I think my form's going to be a lot better. I think I figured out what to do. Kind of had to flex my quad a little bit better and like flex my ass. I think I figured it out. We'll see uh, next to my bench, which will be Monday. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But now we got... Four sets of this, four sets of rows, um, some standing leg curl, and a preacher curl, I believe. Uh, I might add another bicep thing. We'll see how much of a pump I get, but you see how much I drop the weight. You see how controlled it is. It's way different than I used to train, so it feels really good. And uh, yeah, let's get it. Oh. <sighs> 
more sets. Holy shit. Two more. Super controlled. No cheating. Test not coming off the fucking pad. Super controlled. They're getting all eight. Full range of motion. Come on. Let's get it. Holy shit. All right. I'm going to drop this. I did 180. or 4 sets of 10 last week. So we're going to do 120. Let's see how this moves. Same intensity. Let's fucking get it. more all right that wasn't the hardest set in the world but i want to keep it super controlled so i'm just gonna keep it here three more sets of 10 Two more. All right, two more sets.
One more set. Three by ten, I believe. Is you're gonna probably destroy me. That's fine. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, ow. Ugh. <sighs> 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 
<clears throat> oh, fuck, what was that? Okay, girl. All right, I'm dropping these to 40. Um, super control on these. I want to get a good pump, so let's do these moves. Come on. Oh. 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 All right, I'm going to to 50 because that was a little easy, but three more. The weight to 50, so same control, everything was good, just it was a little light, so let's get it. One more. Oh, way better. I can probably go heavier, but I'm just gonna keep it here and keep it super controlled. Two more sets.
Oh my god. One more set. Holy shit. Set, let me pose. Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Let's pose. Okay. See if we have any abs. All right, let's go home. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, that working out like that does take uh, longer for sure, and it definitely is a longer workout in general. Um, but I was what we call yapping. Uh, I was there for four hours and 20 minutes just now, not including my stretching warm-up. So, yeah, let's not do that one again. That was a fucking waste of time, low-key. But it was a good workout. Uh, I kind of lost my pump again, like I just said, because I was talking for 10 hours. Um, but either way, solid workout. Deads fucking flew. So when I say I was being undershot, uh, this is what I mean. Um... My deads, I was 17 and a half kilograms above my top range for what was supposed to move at a seven. And my deads today moved at a five and a half, six. And that was 17 and a half kilos above my top range. So I'm not going to lie. I was definitely right about the undershooting. Uh, second thing, my boy was also coached by the same kid that I am now, um, was trying to show me some stuff and it was low-key very helpful. Um, he, like, was showing me how to, like, wedge in conventional and, like, how do you, like, are supposed to hinge, like, without, like, I was hinging right now, like, with my knee, like, you know, like, like, locked out and then I'd move into position. He was trying to show me how to hinge while, like, flexing your hamstring to get tight. Not flexing your hamstring, but, like, feeling your hamstring get tight into the bar and then having constant tension and then pulling slack and pulling. 
So he was showing me a little bit of that. So next deadlift session should be better if I can focus on that. Bench felt really good, to be honest. Um, I obviously like the wider grip again. Like it just feels better. Uh, it felt a little uncomfortable just because I haven't done it in, you know, a while. So I wasn't expecting it to feel, like, really good. But it felt decent. Um, and I'm not going to lie, the rack height is so much better. Unracking from the one higher is so much better. So I'm definitely going to keep my rack height at 11. Hopefully it can heat my grip that way. I think I, I like it better. Even if it feels a little uncomfortable right now, I think I can grow better with that just because it's less range of motion and it's more chest. Um, so that was good. I'm not going to say, like, my, my, my weight that I hit felt like an 8, but, like, my ass came up, so it doesn't count. So, like, I don't know what to do with that, but like I said in the in the clip when I was doing the rows, um, the second clip you saw of me benching, or, like, sorry, like, after my top set, I was doing back, I was just messing around trying to get better form and trying to see if I can, like, use leg drive constant without, like, jerking because like right now i have like a jerky leg drive which i want to get rid of like i want constant leg drive you don't want jerky leg drive you want constant leg drive that's like the goal so i was messing around with that a little bit and i think i got it uh a lot better at least than i was before i don't know if i got it down but i kind of learned the concept of flexing your quads while you're sitting down which i never really knew until today to be honest um so you like flex your quads while you're sitting down and you flex your ass the whole entire time and uh then you lift off and you're just in position. So we'll see. I also stopped pushing against the rack to set up, which is way better because I would just lose position every time I roll the bar forward, which I already knew was happening. I knew I was going to have to fix that. I just didn't know how. So I think I'm set on that now. Um, I'm going to definitely keep doing like accessories the way I'm doing them now. It's just how you should be training. Oh, it does suck and it's painful and it's boring because it's lighter. It's a much better burn. It's much better for your joints. You get a better pump, and you can actually progressively overload really well because you can take really small weight jumps, and it makes it way harder. So you can actually know that you're overloading and controlling the weight. You're not just ego lifting and adding weight to the bar or adding weight to whatever it is and just making your form worse. You're keeping your form good the whole time, controlling it the whole time. You own the weight, and you can increase it, and you still own the weight. So you know you're actually progressing overloading. Well and you should get a good pump, and your joints should feel better, and you don't have to push weight. Like, you want to push yourself, but you don't want to push weight, if that makes sense. You don't want to ego lift the weight, but you do want to get a good pump in, and you want to lift a significant amount of weight to give you a pump. Like my curls, I definitely could have gone heavier, but that last set, you saw how hard it was. So I should have just started with 50, yes, and I should have maybe slowed down the first two sets even more, just because it gets harder as you do more, obviously. So... Overall, though, solid workout. I'm going to run to Publix now to buy some milk and fruit and stuff. Um, and then I don't know when I'm going to film again, to be honest. I probably will not film again until the next block. Um, unless I film my pause deads this week, but we'll see. I probably won't film again until the next block, which means I'll be home. And I'll have a completely new block with a completely new coach. So... Everything should be really interesting for the next few weeks. Um, I am six and a half weeks out. I actually am exactly seven weeks out from today because I'm competing on a Saturday. But I'm obviously not including this week because my last week is not a real week. It's like, you know, it's not even a taper. It's just like you, I guess it is a, considered a taper, but it's not actually a taper. It's just like a preparation. Like you just like, you lift probably three days out of the week and you're lifting super, super light just to make sure you don't like destroy everything, I guess. So six weeks out, I'm excited and uh, I think everything's going to go well now. So yeah, uh, it, w it was quite a shock to lose my coach like that um, to me. So it's been an interesting few days for me, for sure. Uh, very stressful and I have exams coming up for the next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday which is probably why I'm not going to film for any of those days either because the gym might have to be a quicker thing if I have to study for my exams and all that. Um, but overall, I'm excited. After this week, I get to lock in fully on lifting. I have no other distractions. I'll be home. No school to worry about. I can just focus on lifting, and that's all that matters. So looking forward to it, and I'm looking forward to the meet. Um, I talked to one of my like biggest competitors today, like, the person that is in 82 and a half kg as well that is also a junior so he's like my main competitor talked to him saw him today he's really nice and like he, he knew me already but like 
talked to him a little bit, and he's like, yeah, I think you're undershooting a lot too. So, like, I think you have some some of the numbers you think you have, you probably do. And I'm like, I, I appreciate that. And I, I agree. So, yep, hopefully the growth keeps constant like this and uh, the meat goes well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.